Hello and welcome to the 11th part of the PDO uh, video tutorial series. Um, now we've already spoke about using um, the bind parameter method of a PDO statement, um, but I'm going to show you it once again but in a different light, okay, really to show you the power of it. Now I've showed you also bind value, but bind value doesn't really have as much power as what bind parameter has, okay? So, um, I will show you the difference between the two, um, why one is stronger than the other in this one um, video tutorial. Now, you might be wondering why have I made this array um, and this variable of reference man? Okay, so we've got user 1, user 2, user 3, user 4 stored in a variable called array, which is an array of um, four people, let's call them. Okay, and then we've got our connection, our PDO object, and then we have our PDO statements. Um, and obviously we're calling prepare with a simple insert statement here, insert into users, and we're going to be inserting name. Um, and if you haven't seen the, um, the database already, that's not the one I wanted. Uh, this one here. Okay, so let's just, sorry, I'll just delete these again. I did the video already, but I just didn't like it. Um, so we're going to do it again. Uh, okay, so here's the database. Um, uh, it's a simple um, a user's table with two columns, user ID and name. If you haven't been watching the videos already, um, this is what we're going to be using. All right, so let's go back to here. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inserting five um, users in, um, but by only calling uh, prepare method once and calling bind pr uh, parameter once. All right, so let's do it, let's write bind parameter and we use the number one because we're only having uh, one question mark and also the variable which we're going to be using um, passing by reference is this name one but we're going to be s inserting user one, user two, user three, user four which is not the name okay but this is the values which we're going to be using to insert so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to um, loop round um, the array, standard array um, or for each loop. Okay, but prior to this, we're going to execute execute this statement. All right, because we're going to execute it with reference man as the name. Okay, and just after it, we're going to say echo um, name is um, has the ID of, and then we'll just say PDO last insert ID and stick a break after that and then come in here and every single time we loop round we're going to echo out the name of the person and the ID of them. Now we're then going to say here SMT execute. Now if we don't update name we'll be inserting reference man reference man five times because we're only going to be calling this once here, every single time we call execute, we need to know that name has been updated. Now remember, is that uh, when we call um, prepare and uh, bind parameter, this value in the uh, SQL statement does not get um, updated okay, or affected until we call execute. And every single time it, uh, it calls execute, this value gets updated, whereas bind value, it, it keeps it the same all the time. So we would have to call bind value down here every single time, whereas bind parameter we only need to call once because we're referencing one variable. As long as the variable is updated, execute will update with new data. Okay, so the only thing that we need to do is say name once again, and we're going to go the long way around here and we're going to say array um, use an associated array or a, a zero index which is what this will be um, and just put in then the uh, the number there so we can give it I its details all right it's nothing more than that so every single time this loops round the value of name is going to be updated prior to us executing when we do execute it where the, the address of where name is stored in memory is going to be referenced and it's then going to update this. Okay, so the point to note here is that we're only writing this once and it's only being executed here 
on line 19 and 20 once. The remaining thing, which is going to be executed four times here and once here, okay, that's the important part to understand. Okay, so um, let's come to here, and as you can see, it already inserted before. Um, reference man has the ID of 14. User uh, 1 has the ID of 15. User 2, 16. User 3, 17. User 4, 18. And just to show you in the database as well, reference man 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so that's effectively it. Now, if I show you the difference and I delete all of these once again, all right, so all the, the five rows which were just inserted, I delete them again, but this time, rather than it being bind parameter, we'll say bind value instead this time. Okay, and just to show you what happens now. All right, so let's um, come back here. We'll refresh this once again. Uh, okay, I haven't pressed the F5 button yet, but you can see user one, user two, user three, user four. Now let's refresh it again. Okay, but you see, you see now that um, let's come to here. Let's reload this, and you see now what actually got inserted. Okay, was um, reference man, reference man, reference man, reference man. Now, the fact that you saw uh, on the browser was user one, user two, user three, user four is what you expected, but that's because we updated name here therefore we echoed out name but as far as the the executions concerned this has been done already this only got passed by value and didn't get passed by reference okay so it, it's never referenced a point in memory it just took this one value and went that's it thank you very much done so as far as it's concerned it's just inserted reference man five times okay um, that's it so it's really to show you the difference in bind parameter and bind, uh, bind value. Now, if we wanted to use bind value, we really would need to come here, okay, and update um, bind, well, we'd have to call bind value every single time. So, we'll come to here, and we'll refresh this once again. Now we see 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Come back to the database and give it a refresh and now you can see 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 has now been um, updated how we wanted it to but realistically speaking we've executed four more commands than we actually had to you know that it might not sound much but when you start adding a thousand two thousand lines worth of executions you know, it, it all takes, it's all workload on the server and you want to reduce the amount of workload that a MySQL server has. Therefore, um, using uh, variables passed by reference is far better because you're, you're doing less executions in your code, which means faster code. Okay, that's it. My name's David Thorne. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've got something out of it. And if you weren't 100% certain about passing by reference and passing by value before this, then hopefully that was a bit of an insight to it. Um, I do have other videos about it. Have a research under the my um, PHP uh, tutorials. Uh, but that's it. Okay, Share, comment, like, um, thumbs up, do all those other social networking things. Okay, Have a nice evening. That's me, gone. Bye-bye.